go ahead and hold that again and show something here. I mean, this thing is welded on here, welded on here to the point where a student stops and said, whoa, I'm concerned, we think something's wrong. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in here. I'm gonna show you here uh, with this torque wrench, I can actually see what the cracking force it took to break this free. It gives us some indication of how tight this bolt was. So like I said, about seven or eight foot pounds We'll convert that. What I want to make sure we can do with the camera is be able to read that gauge. Okay? You want to get closer with it? You can see it. Can you, can you good? Okay, ready? Yeah. All right. Now I want to make sure I'm not going to slip off here. What am I at so far? 18, 19, 21. Foot pounds. Did you hear that? What was it 21 foot pounds? Hold it. Or I broke the bolt. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna go ahead and switch. 36? Okay, the other one's already cracked loose. Okay, did you say, say 36? Guys, 36. What would you say we would need to do to this bolt then? Check it, make sure it's not stretched. Yeah, I wouldn't even gamble putting this back in here. I'd get a pair of new bolts and just make it new. How over tightened was this bolt? Take a look at this generic chart and compare the 6 and 12 millimeter bolt diameters. Just to give you a comparison here, we went and uh, used our average generic bolt chart and take a look at this. At, on an average, a 12 millimeter bolt I found was about 34 foot pounds. Obviously this varies with grade or whatnot. And then nine foot pounds is the spec for that bolt, okay? So just to give an idea how over tightened it was, that was tightened for a fastener that large. How would it ever get that tight? Torque wrench? Impact. Not using Impact wrench. wrench. Let's think about one other thing. Could it be a miscalibrated tool? Mm -hmm. yep. So if your tool's miscalibrated and you're thinking, oh, I'm doing a good job here and I'm clicking this on and I'm doing my seven, eight pounds or whatnot, it's another reason we go to inch pounds on these small fasteners, but there's a lot of different ways things can fail and that's why you also need to check your tools over time. Here's what I bet happened, is I'm gonna bet you that the torque wrench, everybody in here uses a torque wrench in this course. I'm telling you, I've watched every single person because this is a common one that we really train on because it's at the beginning of your you know year to two year education here. So I'm gonna bet that that torque wrench clicked, they didn't feel it, and they just kept going. And then they probably went, oh, you know, that's gotta be tight, and then just you know didn't ask for help or didn't question it. If you think that the that it didn't click, if you're tightening something, it's getting crazy tight, and you're feeling like it didn't click. I would stop, loosen things back up, and start over again because more than likely it did click and now you've went way beyond that. I would also stress to make sure and inspect the bolts and possible replacement may be necessary. Does that make sense? Alright, so anyway that's a tip of the day here of, uh, when you're working on this and you're kind of new to torque wrenches or whatnot, um, you can grossly over torque. I'm going to bet that that's what happened. Keep wrenching. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching, and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.